setting up here. Just setting up a nymph under an indicator. Great morning to be out on the river. Not a cloud in the sky, just what you want. It's supposed to get reasonably hot today. River running low, but good enough. In front of me we've got a bit of a snag city situation on the left and ahead with the branch on the middle of the pool there. But there's also a fish about a metre down from that, I don't know if you can see that branch hanging on the middle of the pool there along the bottom there, the riverbed. And then there's a fish pretty much in the middle. And then I've got the issue with the overhanging branch in the middle there too, so everything possibly could go wrong here but I've got a nymph set up under an indicator. I was going to go dry dropper, but I thought, well, try and eliminate risk of the dry catching on any sticks or whatever that he's going to try and snag me in. That's the theory anyway. I'll give him a cast. Slightly heavier weighted nymph so I can get it down quick enough because I'm pretty much going to have to land it. I'm not quite on him, but maybe a metre ahead if I can as close to that tree without catching it as I can in the cast get out in the middle here a bit more away from all this stuff got my partner up on the bank you see him? still in the same spot I can't see him very well I've got a wee bit lower of course I have to get near the middle because of what's on the right hand side of me four pound tippet how's that? oh yeah can't quite see him very well here but it's a good cast Watching that indicator. Go over him. It's actually a lot deeper here now that I'm standing in the middle. I might change the depth of that indicator. Yeah, more or less. I'm just going to change the depth of that indicator because I feel this needs to be a bit further up. The cast was about where I wanted it, eh? leaders laying out nicely on the water it's all about whether he's the flies getting down it's a two mil tungsten bead should be heavy enough I'm not getting any interest at this stage very good cast eh? okay yeah, I'll give him one more. Well, now that he's chased it. Not really, I can't, I'm just going by your sighting at the moment. I can't, I'm seeing low down. Yep. Well, I thought he would. Here, got to keep close contact with them. Says, put a lot of pressure on them, Sage X. I don't want them to go downstream because. Just get the net off me and get it ready. Good fish. I want to stay ahead of those branches because I know that in behind. Get that line on the reel. 
Try to hold them here. Putting a lot of pressure on them here. With this the Sage X. Really giving it to them. What I don't want to do is get in there yet because you don't because if I get jump in the water, take off. yep. You've got to be patient. And I kind of want to keep them in between that snag ahead there because if I go ahead he could hoop back yeah. nice fish Just not ready yet far off keep him still Lovely fish. Cracker. Look at the colours on them. It's a stonker. A new McLean's net. Pretty much the same, just a green rim on it now. Four and three quarters. The shy of five, but the condition. A bit of a sore mouth on them, I was giving it to them. Had to. Nice and fat, look at the condition. Colours, love it. Away you go. Off you go. Nice. Good start. First pull up the river. A lot more water to cover yet. We need the start of things to come, actually. Just moved on to that pool, which I caught the fish just down here. There's another one just in here between the two rocks. Smack bang in the middle. A lot swifter water. Hoping this tungsten bee nymph will get down, but, but it's he's on the edge a little, it's not that deep. So that should help. You know the distance a little. And we'll try it with that. Nearly um, just it was hard to pick up actually, it was just walking past. I wasn't quite sure. And just seeing it lucky he didn't see us, to be honest. Nice, if we can get on to another one, it'd be two in pretty quick succession, but we'll see, he looks pretty happy. Uh, it's not really where I want it, let's start that again. That's better. Watching. Got him. line this time right different snag situation here but we don't know what's under there potentially not as bad as before but oh geez I can really feel that pressure on here giving it to them here another good fish didn't take it on my first cast. I'm quite happy if you stay up there. You don't really want him to go back to where he was. Ooh, just about coming in. Now, where's he going now? He's trying. Little we'll Sage X, it's got a bit of power. It's required in these kind of fish. Nah, it's gonna go, but pulled out. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> 
problem with these nets at times, you can see why I want those green ones, eh? Yeah, they, 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 they turn into tennis rackets. Right, oh, what a stonking condition. Fish again. Stoke with that. Fly come out. How often does that happen? It's again. Yep, good. Right, wham. Similar size as the last one. He's a wee bit fatter than, well, not too dissimilar. This one does look a little bit fatter. You're getting up around five, this one. Five and a quarter. Beauty. Five and a quarter pound. Two fish in five minutes. Here we go. Well, right, got a fish feeding in this current here. Sort of about the halfway point of that run. So, same setup for here at the stage. Heavier weighted nymph and an indicator considering it's pretty hard to see the fish. So you're going to have to rely on the indicator. About there. That, that was quite delayed too. To be honest. Oh, it's there. I think just spotted them kind of last minute too. Hey. Kind of like, it was a bit delayed. I kind of lost sight of. Oh, we don't want them down there, do we? Try and keep them. If he goes down there, there's not much I can do. Let's try and keep him up here. He's done well. Uh oh. I don't go down there. I really don't want him to go down there. Fuck <laughs> it. Go upstream, please. I don't know if he will. Alright, keep them away from them snags. We want them down here, there's a lot of few snags down here. Keep them away from that next one maybe. And then try and settle them. I'm into it and then. <laughs> oh, what another stonking condition. They're just getting better after each fish. Alright, what do we got here? Five and a quarter. <sighs> Beautiful looking fish. Look at that. Look at the fatness on it. Yeah. Wow. Probably close to the best condition one today. There you go. Awesome. Didn't want them to come down here, but keep them away from those two snags. That's pleasing. Three quality fish on the board. Oh, tricky spot. Big fish right in front of the trees. Probably not even a metre in front of it. Trying to get the cast in is going to be tricky. And I'm going to have to try and land the line to the right. And then hope for it to drift back and it comes out wide for it. You alright? Cast. Oh, what a nag. Look at that. I thought he ate it. It's going back again. 
Got aim. Oh, no, come on, down here. Down here. Can't pop force them. Oh, 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 oh. Not how, sure how we're going. Sorry? Not sure how we're going here. I can still feel them. Yeah, stay out of the water. Just come back. He's trying. Yeah. Ah, putting a lot of pressure on him. I'm not holding him, I'm just sort of just flexing him a wee bit. This is really testing it. He's starting to move in now. That's it. Look at the butt section here. Still there, which is good. There can't be branches on the bottom there. It must be right under. Still feel him. He's he's going in and back out. I can still feel him relenting a little. Not sure there is now. He might have got me under there eventually. He's pushing hard. Gave him lots of pressure. Like I couldn't give him any more. He just sort of pinged me. But there's always going to be the big risk, isn't it? I'm going to break my rod. Tragic. Well, there's the leader there. See there? Yeah, but what I'm saying is the leader there, like, it can't be too far from that. 20 foot plus leader, and the leader, the connection's right. You know what I mean? Well, I just turned the camera off because, uh, I was trying to retrieve my line, it was wrapped right under the edge. I did everything I could, pressure-wise, to get him out. And then um, I just basically run my hand through the leader. Went right in the middle of the pool there. And yeah, he must have gone right into the heart of that bush. Did everything I could. It wasn't much, I, I couldn't put, give it any more pressure than I had. I gave it heaps and yeah. Fair to say he's won that battle. Well earned, he's a big fish. Oh, I haven't moved up too far from the fish I just lost. There's one right on the edge here, on the middle of the current. It's going to be awkward to cast that too, because you've got currents going all directions. From left to right, right to left, sorry. And then on the left, See a dark shadow swinging around left and right. Oh, I'll try and get that line as close as I can to the right and let it drift. Right, that's pretty good if it behaves in the current, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. oh, what I was looking at there, daydreaming. Right, this time. Don't have the trees to worry about as much, but still. Right, oh. You're going to do what they love to do in these gorges. Alrighty, eh? We up to him. <laughs> yeah. I think you're wasting your time up there, mate. <laughs> Trying to take me upstream. I realise it's not a great place. Looks like a good fish. I can't land him here, I need to get him down here.
grab that. This is one of these. Let me mess this one up. Right. Get him down here. Anyway. Feisty bone, isn't he? Over yet. Yeah, they're pretty safe there. He's getting me under there, but certainly not ready. I'm down here. Five and three quarters. This is the biggest one of today. Cracker. They've all been in great condition so far. Fourth one. Nice. Awesome. Got that cast. Well, that was, was that was the first cast, wasn't it? Right on the money. Awesome. Made it back from the gorge. Sort of have a breather. We've still got probably another 40 minutes or so before we head back, get back to the car. In a bit of a tough slog. It's a tough day in the river. Still better than a good day's working, as they say. But would have landed four and just lost one. We didn't see many up in the gorge. Only seen maybe two, but. One of them pretty much seen me, and then the other one, the other one just disappeared randomly. So then we just covered several miles further up the gorge and didn't see any more fish. Yeah, didn't see a lot to be fair. The best part was out of the gorge, like as you saw before we got in there, and then at the beginning with that fish that had landed. So just probably rest here for another couple of minutes, and then head way back to the car. High Country Lakes opening this Saturday, just a couple of days out, so looking forward to that. So then, do some lake fishing. Been hitting the rivers quite hard lately, so hopefully, I'll have another upload for you in the near future.